Hey, it's a beautiful spring day. I'm out working in the garden, but I'm also working on the computer. Yep, you have access to me as long as you are near a computer. Now, this is plantersplace.com. This is the website that I answer your gardening questions on 24 hours of the day. And it usually takes me just about 48 hours to get back to you when you ask me a gardening question. So all you do is go to the website, plantersplace.com and then you're going to see at the top of the page here at the website it has a tab that says ask the expert well when you hit on ask the expert it'll come right up to gardening questions you're going to see uh, my picture there and a list of questions that I've already answered and that is where you can ask me any garden questions so let's see today what I've got here the question today is how can I grow perennials when all I have is shade. Well, perennials, if you're a beginning gardener, are plants that return year after year. And there's some great perennials for the shade. Let me show you what I have growing here that I recommend for all gardeners. Uh, first of all, we've got trilliums. This is a great big red trillium. Look at the size of those leaves, red blooms. Next to it is another woodland perennial called bleeding heart, lacy foliage. The flowers are just starting to bloom. And then, in this trio of delight, we have Brunnera. Brunnera is a great substitute for hosta because Brunnera has a little bit of a, of a hairy leaf, so it's more resistant to slugs and snails. Brunnera is also a great perennial for the shade because it gets these lovely sky blue flowers in the spring. In the summer, the flowers will fade away, but the foliage continues to fill in and look gorgeous in any shaded location. So, here's three perennials for the shade. Trillium, the big red trillium, Bleeding Heart, and Brunnera. I got that one answered. Go ahead and ask me another one.